Hello there. In this video, we're going to look at how Equip prevents cheating on online tests. We're going to look at how our AI proctoring ensures candidates can't cheat. We'll take a look at the session recording feature as well. Now, when a candidate starts the test, we gain access to their camera, their mic, and the screen they're looking at. So for example, if they switch the tab to, let's say Google, and they look for an answer, we take a screenshot of that, uh, and we record the time at which it occurred, right? Um, we also take random photos throughout the test, so you can then review this and ensure that it's the same candidate who took the test um, you know, throughout the interval. If we detect noise above a certain threshold, we record the audio, and then you can play this audio back, and then you can check if uh, they were provided any audio cues as they took the test. If we detect multiple faces, so we have access to the camera feed, if ever we see that there are multiple faces looking at the screen, we take a screenshot of that. Also, if the candidate says steps away and maybe they're looking at the answer on the mobile, we take a screenshot of that. So we say there's no face detected. In this way, throughout the test, we are monitoring uh, the candidate's environment and their behavior and with recording evidence of um, what we call violations, right? So at the end of the test, we give you a summary of all the violations that occurred. Uh, for example, if they connect a an external monitor, we detect that there were multiple monitors connected and we call that a violation as well, right? And based on all these different violations, we calculate what is called a trust score, right? Obviously, the more the violations, um, the lower the trust score, uh, and the lower the trust score, uh, the more likely we think they cheated on the test. So for example, if they scored, say, less than 85%, then you could come in and take a look at all the evidence that we've gathered. Um, we strongly urge you to look at the evidence. Uh, don't go just by the trust code because there could be lots of um, false positives. So for example, let's say there was a lot of traffic noise uh, or there was noise in the house where they took the test. Uh, we cannot distinguish between human noise and ambient noise. And so this will count as a violation. The trust score will be low. Uh, so it is on you to ensure that if the trust score is low, um, the evidence points them cheating. Uh, otherwise, you should not be disqualifying them, right? So anyway, this is how the proctoring works. Uh, it's completely automated. There's no human at the other end. Um, and uh, it is happening on the device. So for example, if they start the uh, test and they turn the internet off midway during the test, proctoring will still work, right? Because all the proctoring is happening on the device. Now, uh, so much for proctoring. Uh, what about session recording? Uh, session recording is basically like a video replay of the candidate's interactions with the test. So this is exactly what the candidate saw. Uh, then you will see that, uh, okay, this is how their mouse moved. Uh, this is, was their cursor. Um, you will be able to see their clicks. If there's a text box and they type something, you'll be able to see a video of them typing. Basically, all of the candidate's activities on the test get recorded. And um, if the, let's say the trust score is low and you're not able to distinguish if the candidate cheated or not, then you can look at the session recording for more um, data on how the candidate took the test. Um, we disable copying and pasting, so you cannot copy the question. Uh, let's say you went to a different tab and you came back, uh, you cannot paste the answer. Um, we also have a feature where you can say um, if the candidate has switched the tab, say n number of times, then automatically submit the test, right? So we built a lot of features around um, ensuring candidates don't cheat. Uh, from the candidate's perspective, they're just taking the test as they would normally, um, and um, you can then review the evidence after they've taken the test uh, if the trust score is low. Thank you.